Greetings everyone and welcome back to TNO, the last days of Europe in which we're playing as everyone's favorite Central Siberian Republic that has only 31.61% poverty rate, or poverty rate in, in general, while still going down with minus 0.32 every month. Now we're at war with the Far Eastern Soviet Socialist Republic. We're doing quite well, they've up to 27 divisions, so we'll probably win this war pretty handily, I guess we'll say. Um, other than that, let's keep going on in. They've taken a couple casualties already, so... Of course, with our divisions, they're fairly thick. And... Ooh, flamethrowers. We do have air assault companies, which is which are very, very strong. As well as attack helicopter companies. Now, obviously, obviously we don't have enough helicopters, but... I figured, you know what, why not? That's a lot more... That's a lot of breakthrough. Even though air assault, I think, in, in general, is just better. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. Oh, Would you guys like to win here? Probably. An attack in Italy, that's not good, but for now, we don't really care. Um, 70, it's a little bit ahead of time. If we're doing 1970 stuff, let's grab some more industry stuff to begin. That'll be nice. Ooh. Also, we ha do have the motorized, but I just threw on air so companies. There's still 18 combo with it, which is okay. Not great, but it's okay. Um, cynicism. Other than that, not much else has really happened. Uh, we'll do this stuff. Because right now, we are already on cutting edge research facilities, which is the highest level you can get to. So we're done with all the research initiatives, which is very nice. Which is very, very nice. Uh, I think it's going to help them out too. Yeah, you might as well. A lot of green, but, you know, we're, we still struggle on, on occasion. There you go, help them out. We've lost how many men? 9,000 versus 41,000, not bad. Looks like we have up to 25 enemies to kill. At least division wise. And what does it all mean? Boris sat at his table struggling to make sense of the borderline gibberish being spotted by his son Mikhail. Son, please uh, repeat it because I am incapable of understanding what this nonsense is. There are so many other words Boris could have used, but his wife Lada would have given him eye of pure icy disappointment, and Boris didn't want that. Mikhail sighed again, attempting to describe the subject. There are four salons, and they are like what parties? Yes. And they each represent some. <clears throat> Uh, some aspect of modern society. Isn't that just what parties already are? Well, Father, these are different. How? Well, the humanists believe in humanity, art, and self-expression. The modernists are scientists and believe in progress. The Decemberists are conservatives who believe in protecting the land and our history. The Bacillars are staunch Republicans. All right, Boris began believing he had gained a minor grasp. What does this actually mean for us? 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 Well, humanists, no, 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 I don't mean what they believe. I am asking what in God's name they stand for. Boris's voice is raised now as frustration building. What in the name of heaven are they do going to do to help us? Why can't they just tell us instead of giving me a lesson? Boris sighed, plopping into his chair. Father, said Mikhail. I'm sorry. No, Boris said. It's not your fault. I'm not literate like you. I think it's best that we leave this to a generation that understands what half this nonsense means. No, no. Please don't be like that, Father. Please, Mikhail, just give me peace. I'm done learning what any of this means. Maybe you should just go back to school. Hey, a station nice. And, all right, not bad. Over here. We don't have a lot of planes, which sucks, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, I think overall we're doing well. We're just, we're just, we're doing okay. Could be better, but whatever. Of course, they're running out of manpower, which is great stockpile-wise. We're probably running out of stuff. The artillery, attack helicopters, guns. Not great. What if all three of you went that direction? Well, we're definitely struggling here now. <clears throat> I think are these enemy divisions. Of course, we didn't go all the way through the, the land auction yet, which does suck. Uh, promote the elites, which is fine for now. It's fine. Expand the power grid. I think we'll be okay without doing that one. Oh, there goes Speer. By Speer. Let's go level 5, not bad. Uh, let's go with overwhelming attack. That'd be nice. Are you level 5? No, you're level 3. You're level 4 still, though. That's a lot of divisions to try to fight. Keep these guys in play. I can get over there fast enough. Or, or maybe not. Yeah, whatever. Nice, there you go. Get some of that. Land auction. Or organization recovery rate would be pretty nice. Power grid, yeah. And eight thousand. We're losing more than I thought we did. 
Um, I think I read this one before, so yeah. If you want to about this, please go ahead. Yeah, we're struggling. We're definitely struggling here. Don't worry about attacking for now. We gotta recover a lot of losses. Yeah, that's not good for us. Uh, general building construction. Happy 1970, everybody. Planning, they went up with 30 divisions, but they're out of manpower, so any damage we do should not be able to be replaced. Should break them if they have anything there. Great doctrine, your superiority, ground support, advanced development, advanced de 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 developmental subsidies, that'll be good. Come out. Extra planning does help out too. <clears throat> good, good, good. I mean, we're, this is very expensive to do, but whatever. Now they're looking like they they can't recover from any of this that they're doing. Anything here? Winter expert? Mm, not really. Just kill as many of them off as you can. all good. Infantry stuff. Get some more organization. Recovery rate. And we need to save some political power too. Come on. Come Oh my god. Come on. 137,000. Good, keep killing them. That's all I'm gonna say. Just keep killing them. Pirate relief. Even during war, we'll have less than 30% poverty rate, which would be great. I thought right here. They shouldn't be mobilizing, they're losing production units. Stockpile wise, they're out of guns just like us, which is good, 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 good. What do we have here? Power grid. Promote the elites. Help them out. Just fighting through here sucks. Just so many mountains and stuff. Especially when you have to be the aggressor. Oof. Not ideal. Bunch of victory in, in Spain. Good job, Belongists. I'm out. If you want to read about better industrial equipment, please go ahead. <clears throat> nice. Did those divisions actually die? They might have. Keep going in. And you might want to help out your allies, your other divisions, comrades in arms. Just a thought there. I think we have him at this point. Adaptable's good. Less terrain penalties. Hey! Airbase captured. Nice. Worker training? Sure, why not? Yeah, it's not very good right now. But, and then again, I guess we're already on innovative industry. With modern industrial equipment, we could get to a cutting edge, which would be nice. But, let's get some more breakthrough organization. Yeah, less than 30% poverty rate. What's the best poverty rate you've ever gotten? Let me know in the comments below, like, that you have gotten playing as a Russian warlord. I don't think I've ever gotten below like 20% before. 
but how low you guys can go with it. Uh, one of the comments was, how do tips for surviving the fifth night of FNAF 6 on mobile? Or 6 FNAF? Uh, FNAF 6 mobile? <laughs> so it also says, the only way to play, or only way to win is to not play. Pretty much. Pretty much. State welfare? Yes, please. Oh, do we win? Hey, we won. Look at that. Good job, guys. Good job. So now, power grid? Nah. So over here, they're not killing each other yet. Interesting. Come over here. Our guys are pretty weakened. Let's save some money first. Garrisons. That's fine. Frame. Get over there. Build some ports. Stuff like that. We are really hurting for a lot of stuff, aren't we? Uh, I can go down to five. Five is good enough for guns. We'll need more guns soon. Um, well, as much as I want to keep doing this, let's go to the next focus tree. Let's go head stand. Nice job. Now, if you want to read about the entire cage, please go right ahead. <clears throat> oh, brave new world. We've reached the Pacific Ocean. A brave new world stands across the horizon, no longer landlocked. We have access to the Far East ports. Treating will be much easier now, so we should prioritize the relationship with the Pacific powers. We'll need as much aid as possible for our plans so we cannot fall behind the West. Uh, accessing our newly gained resources will also be very important for our growing economy. Extracting these resources for our industry will be needed if we want to compete with our neighbors to the West and finally bring Russia out of the past. H highly increases monthly trade laws mo policy effectiveness drift. Our gr growth will increase by 0.5%. Nice. Very nice. And keep trying to core more stuff. That's just what we gotta do. Hurts us a little bit. That's not looking great, but we still get a little bit more of a surplus, which is nice. As we'll be waiting to go to war with uh, <clears throat> all the ding dongs to our west. Which would be great, 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 great. Alright, all this is good. More fuel, because you can, because why not? Production units? Never enough. Just never enough. All right, another one. The League establishes a case. It seems that the independents have once again begun to attempt the, uh, to take down our public's unique democracy. This time, targeting the restricted voter pool, which is one of the main of Tomskian democracy. Created to give more privileges to the educated to vote on more important matters, it allows the intelligentsia to a larger say in the government. While the voting block is technically open to all who pass entrance exams, the League for Expanded Democratic Rights, made up of mostly independents, has decried the special voting pool as undemocratic and has mounted a legal case in favor of abolishing the voter pool. They say all people deserve the same vote, no matter their education. While it may sound sensible at first, their voter pool is very important for passing next constitutional design as one of the very ideals of a republic. Eliminating it could very well lead to the end of the salon system. Still, many citizens are supporting the move that, that the League is making, especially people of newly integrated provinces. The case is expected to head to the Supreme Court despite its lack of legal basis. Judges of lower courts have issued not inconsistent rulings, and this, while our case could seem small at first, may very well lead to the fall of our republic's unique democracy. Tomsk awaits its future. If you want to read about uh, established close facilities, please go ahead as well. Supreme Court listened to argument against restricted voting case. I think I've already read these before, so if you want to read this one, please go right ahead. Sorry that I read the other one, but whatever. Whatever. Missed opportunities. <clears throat> no from the factory machines blared into Vlad's ears as he worked on making another cope. He was supposed to be at the university as he was missing one of his most important classes. Instead, however, he was here working a double shift to try to make enough money for his family. Ever since his father died fighting in the Far East, the mother, his mother could barely do enough to keep them in their houses. Vlad dearly wished he had time to go to class. He really did, but if he didn't make enough money, he knew they would be evicted from his apartment. If only the government for the people would help. Sure, the moderns gave subsidies to the students and tried to make schooling easier, but it barely helped him. His family always had problems paying to live in their apartment even before his dad died, and sometimes they were even forced to live out on the streets. Did the moderns ever notice people like him? Or do they only care for the children of the elite? Sending professors, sons, and scientists, kids, to the best universities free of charge while he barely got paid enough to live. Sometimes it was infuriating, and listening on the old radio all how the modernists promised education reforms, while saw nothing going towards making his life livable. Vlad looked back down to the coat he was putting on together and sighed. We're trying our best. Decontaminate the land. Fanaticism and radical ideologies dominated the Far East and the Warlord era, and under the Far Eastern original government. These ways of thought uh, continue to affect our control over the Far East, as many people do not support the ways of democracy. We must work on diminishing fascism, socialism, and despotism to empower our rule in the region, ensuring support for our government, educating the populace on the benefits of a republicanism, and democracy has to be done, no matter what some in the Duma may say. Nice. Working system. Uh, if you wonder about this, please go ahead. A nation of order or of stability, and a nation of progress or reform, both are necessary elements of a healthy state of political life. And we're doing the elites already, which is great, so come down here and do... 
We're gonna wait to do that one because it's slightly faster coring time. Academic base begins to improve. Yeah, we that's fine. Integrate new assets. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do this one first. I still want to slightly decrease coring time. I remember this. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not. I might have read this one, but we'll see. The crowd gathered on the stage and Tom talked with confused and worried looks on the faces. The salons cooperated plenty, but it wasn't too often that you saw a leading member of two different salons making an announcement to the people together. Perhaps it had something to do with the recent unrest and protests? The... Now I'll do it anyways by now. Uh, talking hush, hushed. When Mcheslaw, Weinberg, and Andre Sakura both took the stage and went up to one of the two podiums on it, the crowd seemed even more unsure of what to make of the situation now. Okay, good day to all of you people of the Republic, Sakura said, looking tired but as determined as ever. I have no doubt that you've seen the recent protests for changes to our government <clears throat> system. My friend and colleague, uh, Mcheslaw Weinberg, and I are here today to address that. He nodded towards Weinberg with a smile. Please speak. Clearing his throat, Weinberg looked over the crowd once and he didn't realize or didn't recognize any of them. A democracy couldn't continue like this. I promise you, good people, that we are listening to your work, your, your worries, your pleas, working towards the resolution of this crisis as fast as we can. So all I ask is that you place a little more faith in us. With this republic standing together, it'll survive anything. But to be worth surviving, to be worth all of you standing here together in defense of it, it must constantly reevaluate itself. The crowd began to murmur, surprised by his development, above all else, though they didn't look generally pleased by it. Unable to hide his excitement as approaching resolution due to the unrest, Sakov grinned merrily. In time, with your support, we can we will craft a republic that is worth fighting for. Until then, I can promise you this. Russia is changing for the better and integrate new assets. With the annexation of the Far East, more industries, businesses, and people are now under our control. We take advantage of these to expand our economy and fully develop Siberia. Uh, expanding the firms and integrating them into our economy will surely give a boost to our GDP, which is necessary if we want Siberia to appear as a modern nation. Using the Far East industry, while limited, will be necessary if we want to compete with the industrialized West. Meanwhile, giving the people better jobs and eliminating the more useless ones should create a more efficient system and make the population more satisfied. And if you want to hear about our foundation for research, please go right ahead. Sakharov Sphere. Andres Sakharov sat in a new desk, one much nicer and more lavish than his older one. On the desk were the piles of papers usual, except instead of the usual official party papers, it was filled with theories once again. Equations littered the pages as Sakharov's mind wandered back to his main objective. He was developing a nuclear bomb. Always an expert on nuclear physics, Sakharov was of great use to help in developing the Republic's new weapon. Being busy with government didn't mean he, could, he couldn't work on his own passions as well, yet he always idealized his work. Um, for that being of peace, not the total destruction of another country and possibly the world. Still, here he was solving the math that could wipe out an entire civilization. He knew it would only be uh, used against uh, to defend against the German aggression when war would inevitably occur. Yet he still felt like it was wrong, even trying to tell himself that if they had no nuclear weapons, Germany could surely end Russia once and for all, and, and for all did no help. Was mutually assured destruction really the answer? For one second, wish humanity hadn't discovered the atom at all. It's of course for the greater good, though. And now, we can't quote anything else but Stars and Stripes. America is one of the few more powerful democracies on this planet. We may have reasons to align with them. Our political systems are similar. We share the same enemy, and both of our nations have fought to spread democracy. Their science base is also significantly powerful, with inventions and technological developments that surpass the world. For all these reasons, we must ask America for aid. Our economy, science base, and military could all use American help. America must be on our side in the future. We don't know what conflicts lie ahead. All that we've missed. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, innovation became a thing of the past. The only technological developments pertain to the military. Now that we have brought stability and democracy to Siberia, it's time to read, read up on the 20 years of science we've missed. There's a lot to learn. Much of it can be used to improve the lives of our people, too. In particular, developments in computer technology have gained the interest of our scientists. We need all the modern technology we can get our hands on. If we do, we will far surpass any other backwards nation in Russia. Pretty much. And slowly improve, which is fine. Even though the research is done. And industrial equipment is... Is it done? Industrial equipment? Is it done as well? Modern? Yeah, I think we, we think we are done. No, no, we, we need that just a little bit more. Hey! Oil crisis. Cutting edge mili military. Ooh. New SIP plan. Ooh. Cutting edge military first. Integrating these ideas into a future military equipment is a necessity. A technologically advanced military is a powerful military, and we need the best of the best if we want to win over our Western rivals and Germany. Electronics can be incorporated into tanks, planes, and trucks, AFVs, and even support equipment. The best counter for a larger enemy is better technology. Other tanks and guns will be no match for ours. We get even more research facilities rapidly improving, then we're completely done with it. We get more stability, uh, increase minimal investment in research funding, and maximum investment in research funding, too. Huh. Alright, not bad. Not bad. And we'll do a uh, new sit plan. The Russian Republic exists in the remains of Bukharin's Central Siberian plan. The industrial development of the plants allowed us to further expand Central Siberia infrastructure and cities. Now, however, it's time to be, we begin the next phase of the plan. Electronics are the technology of the modern age. Our government has decided to create a city working towards the development of new technologies. <coughs> Computers, cell phones, radios, and even TVs can be designed and built in Russia. If there's any way to bring Russia into the modern age, modern age it's technology. 
financial market development. Ooh. That's going to cost us quite a bit. Increase GDP, more growth, more inflation, decrease interest rates. Oh. I love all this stuff. Better artillery is also very good. Oh, uh, that stuff is okay. There's all this stuff. Enable armor upgrades. Ar uh, armor upgrades. Go 74 engineers. And go with logistics. Good. Um, advanced mega project. Oh, the new zip line. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, financial markets would not be bad. Well, academic base. I guess we do this one. Theoretical computer designs or science. Computer science. <clears throat> Siberia has a plen plenitude of universities. A seven state, they study electronics. Everything has to be taught the assembly, programming, even theoretical sciences. Our scientists, professors, and researchers will have to work as hard as possible if we want to make Siberia into a center of technology for the world. If it all goes as planned, new electronics will be invented and discontinued within days. Each development will propel us further into the future, an age where everything is electronic. <clears throat> Excuse me. Railway guns? That actually would be bad. Armored trains? New SIP plan? Alright, let's take a look. Because the next one we'll do is probably just more atomic research and whatnot, so. Happy 1971, everyone. Alright. Promote the elites. Increase idealism. Invest. Oh, okay. So, the launch of this great project, the City of Lights. Evolutions of Bukharin's Central Siberian Plan, of course. Uh, we will secure its future by investing in the nascent field of computer science. We entertain failure. will bring about a successful completion of a plan of negative consequences. Completion, current progress of 0.5%, monthly progress. Progress is 0.5%. Um, it's fine, yeah. I don't care. 75. Academic base continues to go up. Oh, heck yeah. Pirate rate will slowly improve with true as well. True. Uh, electrify the countryside. Yes. Who cares? It's just, it's just money. Max out science, even though we don't need any more research facility monthly change. Um, if you want to read about this one, expansion of extras, please go right ahead. Uh, solidify direction. Or maybe I haven't read this one about this one. Have I? Oh, no. Petrov stood on the street outside the Doom in Tomsk and realized how long it had been since he'd been last seen him, before he joined the military at least. It seemed like an eternity ago, before his eyes had opened up to the narrowness of the view promised by each salon, and before he had developed his own moral center. He felt more at peace than ever, and in truth, the ability to avoid factional arguments in his unit had earned him a rapid promotion to the sergeant, but within his own family, he remained alone in this regard. His sister had not been able to stop talking about the modern's grand plan, an enormous expansion of advanced technological industry within the Republic. It promised enormous economic benefit in the development of critical technology advantages and, and significant increases in efficiencies all across all sectors. But in truth, what did that mean? <clears throat> more focus on the machine of the Republic over individual citizens? More investments for the elites? He did not voice such thoughts to his sister. She would not be able to understand and would argue that, against them besides. His mother and father provided more than enough of that in any case. After I looked at the Duma for another, for another long moment, and then turned to leave, he knew that so much of what was said inside that building was irrelevant. The conflicts of those who could not see flaws in their own position or the merits and those of others, much like his kitchen table, they both, and they in both instances, focused only on the idea. And until they focused on the person affected by it, a solidified direction. And we can't go through that one, so yes, 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 yes. Because these guys. Oh, now they're killing each other, okay. Oh my god, I'm not gonna like this. I hope these guys win. Who is it? Uh, Kuchev? Kuchev? I don't think he will. Because Vyaka is extremely strong. Ridiculously strong. If you want to buy a dresser here, you have a problem. Please go ahead too. Uh, business efforts. Yeah, why not? If we want a chance of creating a Siberian electronic powerhouse, not everything can be done by our government. The private sector will be our most useful ally with private companies competing with each other to create the best electronics Russia can come up with. However, we may want to help these private companies start up, planting the seeds, if you will. Grants will be given to these new companies working in the computer and electronic fields. Hopefully, we, should be, we will soon begin to see some progress. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, debt to GDP ratio is going down, which is great, 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 great. Uh, primary schooling. This should. Oh, this is going to advance too. Go to secondary schooling. Nice. Very good. Innovative doesn't matter anymore. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Very good. Enough artillery, hopefully. Enough guns, hopefully. Um, hopefully we have enough planes as well. Look at that. Not bad. Got plenty of fighters. Cass, that's another story, but, you know, whatever. Um, air bases. We'll do that, and I want some radar here, too. Business effort. 
supporting foreign computers. Russia cannot develop reliable and well-functioning computers and electronics on its own. They give us a base to work with, we will begin importing Sphere and American computers to figure out how they work and reverse engineer them. Let's give our engineers and theorists as much needed ideas to build and invent better computers. If all goes as planned, our computer scientists will be able to improve on American and Japanese designs, paving the way towards innovation. Hopefully. 20.253 billion in debt. Better engineers are going to be extraordinarily important. Uh, on these divisions, though, we have uh, logistics, artillery, no recon. Which is fine. Recon is not always helpful. It's, it's, it's helpful to have, but sometimes you don't want it. Sometimes you do. Chance for helicopters, let's do that one. Good. And let's keep on this up over here. There you go. Goes out of that one. Um, yeah, I have a lot of cynicism here, but whatever. Uh, just market priorities. Sure. Railway guns, nice. Even though I don't think we can really afford that, but whatever. One. Uh, uh, our, we're austerity trains. You want to do that one? That's fine, I guess. For now, why not? Gold days. New architectures. Vacuum tubes are good for computers, and the, but now they seem to be a thing of the past. New silicon chips are smaller and faster, allowing for even more advanced computer technology. A feature for silicon chips and computer processors seems to be the way, way forward. We should experiment with silicon chips. Perhaps our theorists or scientists could create an even better design. If not, we could still be able to prove the benefits of silicon circuits over vacuum tubes. Stack overflow. The computer hummed its meth uh, meta methodical sounds, getting louder and periodically as Peter and his colleagues Anton and Andre sat by his side. Peter's first program on the new coding language, Fo Fortran, was almost complete and ready to be run. Yo, you forgot to call, said Anton, pointing to the screen. Other than that, I think it's ready to run. The future sits in front of us, man. Okay, here we go, said Peter, placing the call sign in front of his code. That was easier than I thought it would be, and it didn't take long that long either. Let's see what it does. Peter pressed run, and the computer began to whirl. Then it became louder and louder, and then suddenly it crashed, moaned Andre. You forgot to provide your input, you moron, proclaimed Anton. My what? said Peter, confused. I don't know why to state an output. Uh, <clears throat> of course you do, idiot. Here, give it to me. Anton took the keyboard and rebooted the computer. Wait, this is a crash from Stack Overflow. What does that even mean? It means programming is not as easy as it sounds, replied Peter. Maybe the bug testing will be easier? Financial markets. Progress towards a rush of electronic powerhouse is steady but slow. Many companies working towards new innovations and inventions and developments for computers often find themselves low on cash necessary to continue their work. The failure means our failure. If we want to solve the funding issue, we have to funnel in more financial investments, grants, donations, anything to get better results. As much money as possible must be pumped into developing electronics. Oh, we already got even better research facilities, even though there's not much we can do. You know, if you get to the highest level and go past it, you should go, even, you should go even higher. Or like, give us like a bonus or something. Yes. I do all stuff, I don't care. That's my money, yeah, why not? Just keep throwing money at something. That's how it always works. If you keep throwing money at something, it, it'll get better, right? Totally. The City of Lights. Our project has entered its stage completion. We're now ready to unveil our project. What was once Kemerovo has changed significantly, and its transformation into the City of Lights has taken great effort. Turning an industrial town into a modern Russian Silicon Valley will hopefully have fulfilled the dreams of a modernist government. Surely the work of countless individuals will be fully, fully be realized. Hopefully. Oh, we can, we can go to war now. Uh, yeah, we would die instantly. Um, I don't want to do this, but you know what? We kind of have to. There you go. Now we're going to have way more debt. Why well, have a lot of minimum army expenditures? Only ten billion in deficit every year. International finance. Pavlina sat in her comfy office chair, staring down at the charts and documents she was filling out. Ever since her daughter was taken up into a crash, one of the new modernist nursing homes, she had more time to spend, and she decided to spend that time by getting a job, where money could never hurt. Crunching that their numbers. Pavlina worked in a society in which part of the republic needed the most help. Where to fund more school and where to need to park. Where to fund more housing. Pavlina did it all. She just hoped that her math was right. As a young girl, she only got basic schooling. Hey, you're supposed to round that down, Hadrian said. Her supervisor, Hadrian, was a staunch humanist, and he was not too hot on his new job seeking international finance. You're not meaning it, messing me up just to make sure we don't have too many foreign investments, are you, Hadrian? Pavlina joked. No, your math is just wrong, Hadrian said simply. Still, though, I think these foreign funding, foreigners funding a modernization is not a good idea. Think of it, all the debt we could be in 15 years. You already said that, and besides, I'm sure the moderns have a plan, Pavlina said. Don't you like the new changes? More housing, schools, everything. You know, I wouldn't even have this job if it weren't for the moderns. I think everything's going great. Well, modernization is quite expensive. We're west where we must return. The reunification for Russia is nearing, and we have to be ready for it. More men must be trained and deployed to the field, and our army size has to be increased. A front against the west will be a large one, and we cannot allow any holes in our lines up here. Deploying the army to the western border will guarantee our security in the case of war, and will show our rival our might. Although war may not be necessary. We should probably start off with negotiations before preparing an attack. Perhaps the West may 
west. Maybe more willing to peacefully reunify? Nah. Get those air bases done too. But in the meantime, um at least level two on every single tile. Look at that depth, man. Man, oh man. <clears throat> we'll do the best we can. My dozen is yeah, my bottom is now. We must know, we all know. Our republic has grown in the last decade. For the city to half a country, we have we have so far brought democracy and freedom to the depths of this wasteland in which we reside. Our republic will only continue to expand until we have regained all of Russia, restoring liberty and democracy to what was once a land of darkness and despair. Progress and modernity are also within our reach. As new technologies are spread across Russia and people are brought out of the misery to thrive, all across Siberia, help progress and science are on the march. Let us bring it let us bring it west with us. <clears throat> One. Anything else here? No, uh, no. That wouldn't really help us out right now. Helicopters, 1970s helicopters, better attack planes would be nice. Goes for that too. Yeah, just fill them up first. We're going to struggle so much against these guys. Go three. Lower by um, two and one. Hmm. Max planning, planning speed, stuff like that. Not bad. Twenty nine percent's not enough. Spend some beer in mind, yes please. Strike Russia. Well we could if we really wanted to, but I don't think we're really ready for that. Hope these guys are dug in. Because these guys are gonna be a god awful pain in the butt to fight, like I said before. Start training some. And I'll save now because it, they'll probably strike at any moment, honestly. We'll train until July. Maybe. And... I definitely don't want to be the aggressors here. New SIP plan. Growth will increase. GDP will go up, which facilities will rapidly improve. Nice. Oh! We're gonna doubt even more, please. Nice. Nice. Good. Just in case. Start getting more entrenchment. We need to be. At this point, as much as I don't like being green, they'll learn a lot, anyways. 34.25% is not enough. Source for materials. And I guess we'll resume when they go to war with us. And here we are at, everyone. 1972, March 7th. I've actually been doing the war for quite a while now. And just having the enemy just run into us. Um, really, not much has really happened. We've lost a lot of guys. They've lost over 600,000. Um, it's just been grindy. Just sitting here waiting for them to attack and attack and attack and attack and attack. And they're out of manpower now. they got a lot of equipment, but... I think it's time for us maybe to try to go on the offensive at all. But the biggest thing that helped save us here... Um, you know what? Force the attack. Ooh, I know. Break through their uh, stuff here. Um... I would say is we'll probably lose divisions uh, doing that. Uh, having superiority, that's probably the biggest thing for us. Because they're out of manpower, any damage you do, they cannot recover. Of course, then again, we can't recover a lot either. Uh, help them out, guys! Come on, help them out. They're forcing the attack. I don't want them to all to die here. So, like I said, any damage we do, they cannot replace, which is good. Just watching them all just kind of crumble away. Um, yeah, other than that, not much else has really been going on. Just blowing them up, pretty much. Keep working on the advanced zip plan, so. Of course, fighting through here is going to be crappy. Very crappy. We just lost 100,000 men, but you know what? Any damage we do is irreplaceable. You probably actually lose against this, but whatever. And our guys are not all green anymore, they're somewhat regulars. Not bad. Keep them in place. That's the biggest thing right now. Just keep them in place. 
How are we not able to win there? Which is just preposterous. At least to me. Preposterous. In here, um, go well planned attack? No. Go breakthrough. Well, you still chose that one? Ding dong. It's a well planned attack. Whatever. And what ministry? Why not? A lot of losses. They've gone up to 700,000, which is good because they cannot replace anybody now. They've got plenty of equipment, though. Which does suck. But at, well, right now, we're 55.5% for the new sub plan. Oh, it just takes so long to do. Why? Why does it take so long to do? Oh. No, oh, look at those communists. They reunified Kazakhstan. Uh, they're at 43 divisions max. We have 32 divisions now, which is nice. Uh, save ourselves. Yeah, just get rid of all the stuff. Save our equipment stuff and stuff like that now. How are we not able to win here? Especially with air superiority. We're doing a good amount of damage. Literally makes no sense sometimes, man. Hmm. We don't have any tactical bombers. Hmm. Agility and speed. Escort efficiency. We'll go this way. Why not? I guess. 23% poverty rate? Not bad. Of course, trying to blow through all this stuff is going to be difficult. Um, keep busting through stuff if you can. You can circle and destroy. That'd be phenomenal. Oh, more research. Sure, why not? It's faster, faster, faster. Ooh, look like you could have gotten circled there. Which would have sucked. Of course, supply sucks a whole bunch through here too. Thinking this style is going to be extraordinarily important. That's why it sucks right now. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's going to suck so hard trying to get. We're advancing the southern portion, the southern front, for the most part. But this is the war they wanted, not us. I made sure that we they we wait until they went to war with us. So, um, on that seven percent, not enough. Is that a? No, it's not. Yeah, getting over here is gonna be important. It's just not a lot. A supply. <clears throat> and it shows. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two men is... Ooh. Actually, if anything, two men is more important. Getting that, that supply base. So that way they don't have it. And we can actually start pushing up through here maybe a little bit more. My god. We just don't have enough of helicopters, probably. Transport helicopters. Attack helicopters. Pretty normal. Pretty normal, though. Go down to one. Go down to two. Yeah, that's what we gotta do for now. Fires are fine for now, too. No, keep advancing in the south. Like I said, any damage we do, that can't replace. Ooh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Actually, we cut off supply from there. They can still get supply up through here, though. If you can take this tile, that'd be great. That, that cuts off the complete the supply completely through here. Oh my god, you ding dongs. You should be able to invade there. I mean come on. At this point. <clears throat> well the southern front can can all die then. No. Show you Bensk then. You know what? Stop attacking them. Hold everyone hold first. Get some more planning done, that'll be good. Our debt to GDP ratio is about 100% now, which sucks. But whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We're, it's just slowly going through. I hate Vyaka. Vyaka is, I, not opinion, is not quite overpowered, but they're, they're so strong that I would classify them as almost overpowered. It, it's disgusting. How they're able to hold out here, I do not understand either. So. Yeah, just spent some time getting more equipment. That would probably be the best thing. Uh, over here. Good, kill them all off. Seriously, kill them all off. Look at all that. Oh, just get eviscerated. 63% is not bad. 
And let's do, we have a lot of supply in the south. I hate TNO just because trying to build anything up in Russia, especially Siberia, you just can't build anything quickly enough because you don't have enough factories. And technically, we do have enough production units, but you need for the military. So that's really not an excuse. All right, so up here, the supply point. Okay, supply point is the last thing we need. And this is over a river, which is going to suck. I want to force you attack so badly. Come on, come on, come on. Go with Ambusher. If that's the case, let's see. Can you guys, no, oh my god. Like, Biak is such a cheater. It's such a cheating nation. I hate them so much. They're just, the devs have such a boner for Viaka. It's unfair. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Bunch of cheating nations. Well, take the airbase away from them. So we can have it. I don't understand why. Like, these guys, they have to be at least 40 combo with. Yeah, they, these guys have to be 40 combo with at the very least. Um, it's about supply. No. And they're all connected. We just don't have a base. Which takes way, 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 way too long to build up a supply base here. You know what I'm thinking? Why don't, why don't they have, like, something that gives you, like, half supply base? Like, something that doesn't give you as much supply, but you can build it faster and smaller. Smaller, faster, but not as much supply. Why is that not in the game? A supply depot of some sorts. Doesn't make any sense to me. Why not? So now we're just waiting for more attack helicopters and transport helicopters. So I think we'll just wait for now. And then when we are ready, we'll probably have a big old attack. And we'll probably uh, try to finish off the sub plan. And there we have everyone. I just decided to finish off the war just because we could. Um, we actually didn't need to take too much from uh, Vyaka, basically, to win the war. But God, that was terrible. But anyway, the Petrov Salon Reflections of Experts. Petrov, now a senior sergeant in command of a security detachment, looked out from his watch post observing the vast technological complex just outside of Tomsk. It was a final full realization of the modernist goals, a concentrated technological incubator that would act to turn Siberia into a world leader in various fields of computing, a technological advantage that could prove decisive in so many ways. His sister had traveled to meet him for lunch one day and see the complex from his race position. He well remembered the way she had looked at it, with a sharp look of both deep fulfillment combined with a yearning for the future. Anatoly had returned it with an empty knob. Through the circuitry, machines and algorithms that emerged from the complex along with others was granting advance, an advantage to the Republic, bringing wealth to those who had once had little. But many innovations were being leveraged for the military use, and after his experience in Novosibirsk, Kemerovo, and elsewhere, he knew well what improvements in military effectiveness could lead to. It was powerless to stop any such efforts, but that did not mean that he, like his sister, had to support them. Instead, he had chosen focus on the small things. Earlier that day, he had seen one of the engineers demonstrate a small device to his friends in which they competed to pass a representative bat ball back and forth. He would seen the joy in their faces and could not help but Im image imagine it on the face of a child. He saw that as a true positive effect of the entire initiative and much more viable than any new missile tracking system. It gave him far better thoughts and allowed him to smile besides, a focus on the small benefits, and we did finish up the... Um, this is the plan. We've already got that. I, that's why I've been waiting so long. It's only 1973, which is not bad, but reunify the motherland. The Russian Republic turns. One cannot stand against progress. Per aspera ad astra. Every addition to the true knowledge is an addition to human power. Which is great. Um, but yeah, like I said, we did finish up the SIB plan, so are we supposed to be able to finish up before we get there? We still have secondary schooling, we're cutting edge research facilities, modern agriculture, streamlined bureaucracy, which is not bad either, uh, innovative industry, which is the best you can do, we have modern industrial equipment, which we're close to getting, to, um, not that close, really, but cutting edge industrial equipment, uh, professional army, um, elite forces, which are very nice. Are we supposed to finish the SIB plan before we actually reunify everybody? Maybe not. I hope there's something here because I've been just sitting here for a while. We're cutting down our debt. I actually deleted all of our military units. We have no Navy. We have no Army. We have no Air Force. So... Maybe I wasn't supposed to complete the SIP plan? I, I don't know. We got a lot of produ production units, of course. So, yeah. Other than that, that should be it. Um, oh, the Blue Order. Oh, here we go. No. This is, I've read this. I don't know if I've read this before, but this is a book. So if you're going to read the Blue Order, please go right ahead. What kind of world is this? 
Uh, we got to acceptable, which is pretty darn nice, actually. That's pretty darn good. With raising taxes, we got to 15.78 billion interest plus. Um, yeah, almost no debt interest. Even though I destroyed the entire military, we still have almost $9 billion in military spending, which I don't understand. That hurts our growth a little bit more, but you know, it's okay. We have almost 100, we have over almost 92, 92 billion in GDP, and our debt is not really relevant because we have a yearly surplus of 17 billion. So I think I wasn't supposed to do that. I don't think I was supposed to uh, complete the Civ plan before we reunified and became the Republic of Russia. But I think that's going to be it for us. Um, of course, military austerity, modern army, steel caravans. I'm very concerned that we don't get anything about that, but okay. Whatever. Anything else over here? Yeah. Formation of the Salons, which is very strong. I love it. But yeah, I guess that's it. We got all the way down to 21% poverty rate, which I think is probably the best I've ever done, in all honesty. But other than that, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow, or another day, in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.